Council Member Moore. Present. Council Member Severe. Present. Council Member Fox. Present. Council Member Williams. Present. Mayor Durham. Present. All present with a quorum. All right, with a quorum present, I'll call this meeting to order. This is our regular scheduled meeting for June the 8th, 2017. Uh, we'll start our meeting with a word of prayer and a pledge of allegiance. Chad, if you'll uh, lead us in prayer, and uh, Jamie, if you'll lead us in pledge afterwards. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we love you and praise you and thank you for this day, and we thank you for this day of life today. And uh, Father, as we uh, gather, we do remember uh, the Baxter family today. Pray that you'd be with them and bless them and uh, comfort them during this time. And Father, we pray for each and every decision made today that it would glorify and honor you. We love you and praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> All right, guys, uh, in front of you, you got a, a copy of the minutes of the previous meeting. And uh, if there's no additions, changes, or deletions, I'll entertain a motion to approve. Motion. I got a motion to approve. Second it. And a second. Any discussion on the minutes? Uh, seeing no discussion. Uh, if you're in favor of approving the minutes, I'll be saying aye. 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 Opposed, and the minutes are approved. All right, I don't think I have a. Uh, See Mr. Valentine. See schedule to speak. He was supposed to. All right. So um, our city administrator is not here. Uh, do we have any department managers to report today? All right. Um, we'll let the uh, minutes show that LUS financials for April 2017 are, are on file here at City Hall. Uh, I don't have any old business in front of me, and gentlemen will. Uh, move to new business and I'll turn the table over to uh, Mr. Betts. Thank you, Mayor. <clears throat> I want your record to reflect that uh, the Comptroller of the Treasury of the State of Tennessee has sent a letter dated June 6, 2017, which you all have seen uh, dealing with the upcoming uh, uh, proposed bond issue. And also uh, in your packet is the letter from the controller dated February 9, 2017. We want the record to reflect that those have been presented by the controller and considered by the board uh, of mayor and council today. First matter of business today, uh, after that is a resolution of the board of mayor and council of, Lawrenceburg, uh, of the city of Lawrenceburg to reappoint Kathy Mashburn to the board of public <coughs> utilities with her term to expire June 30, 2021. Gentlemen, what's your pleasure on this resolution? Motion to approve. Motion to approve. Second. And I got a second. Uh, any discussion? If you're in favor of this resolution, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Opposed? That resolution is approved. Next, gentlemen, is the initial resolution determining to issue not to exceed six million five hundred thousand uh, uh, dollars of general obligation bonds of the city of Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. Uh, Mr. Olderman's here in case uh, you have questions concerning that. Uh, and this will require a uh, roll call vote. Okay. You'll need to have a motion to approve it, uh, obviously. All right. Uh, gentlemen, do you have questions that we are, do you want Mr. Olderman to give us an overview of this before we vote, or how would you like to proceed? That'd be good. I believe that'd be a good idea. All right, CL, if you would. Thank you, Mayor. Good to be with you folks today. Um, had a really nice drive in the dark down from Knoxville. <laughs> Enjoyed it. It's good to be out there when there's no traffic and you can drive uh, Mach 0.79. <laughs> Just roll on down the road. Um, we've been in discussion for uh, months. There's been a lot of hard work on the part of the uh, city of Lawrenceburg, uh, mayor, city administrator, Linda, uh, Vic, John, uh, everybody involved in this uh, bond issue. And uh, we've had some really good discussions, both face to face and by phone, and we think we've got it right now. Uh, long story short, this bond issue contains several things. Uh, there's, there's $3 million in there basically for uh, city projects, a million and a half of which is for the higher education 
project, there's also money for reimbursement for the uh, large pieces of fire apparatus that I believe is already right. purchased and you passed a reimbursing resolution back a couple months ago um, when I was down here with my girlfriend um, <laughs> that uh, came with me. Uh, also, I believe there's a maintenance shed, a maintenance facility in that. There's a building uh, for one of the public works or uh, departments, and then any money that's not used would be available for roads. Uh, additionally, part of this bond issue is uh, about a million eight fifty of refunding or refinancing of your 2007 bonds and your uh, we're projecting savings of about eighty two thousand dollars. I'm sorry, ninety two thousand dollars on that reef smaller refunding piece. We hope, of course, that with interest rates. Uh, uh, and the competitive of the mark, uh, competitiveness of the market right now that will do better than that on the savings. But you put all that together in the not to exceed figure of your resolutions, both of the initial resolution, which is done simply to indicate to your taxpayers and ratepayers that the city intends to issue uh, uh, municipal tax exempt bonds, and we'll put that in the paper, assuming it passes, and the uh, detailed resolution that follows is six and a half million dollars. That's the not to exceed figure. We'll do everything we can to keep it below that, but you need to have a little flexibility going into the market when you're doing competitive bidding. Uh, we're shooting for three and a quarter percent on the new money. It's 20 year tax exempt bonds. Uh, hope Again, hopefully we'll do better, but uh, we try to go in a little conservatively. <clears throat> but three and a quarter, three and a quarter will be a good place to be, and then on the re refunding, we hope to be right at two percent, and that's what will result in your interest cost savings that I mentioned previously. Other than that, um, we're pretty much ready to go, and these two resolutions do need to be considered separately and voted on separately. And uh, once that's done, we can move ahead with. Uh, final uh, production of a preliminary official statement to start getting out to underwriters all over the country and uh, talk to the rating agencies, most likely S&P, and be moving ahead toward a bond sale uh, here in the next uh, 30 days or so. I'd be glad to try to answer other questions. This includes a utility refund piece also? Yes. Well, now we've done, we've done Water and sewer refunding. There's um, there's um, I think this is primarily geo mayor. Uh, now I think the city pays some of uh, that service on. I think there's a small piece of water and sewer, if I'm not mistaken, in the geo that may be in here. But this is primarily geo debt. How long does this resolution be for? Uh, typically 120 days. Are anybody have any specific questions for Mr. Let, let, let me back up, Mayor. The 100, I'm sorry. The 120 days is typically what the comptroller's approval is on the refunding. On the resolutions, you really ought to be good for a year on resolutions. Yeah. I misspoke there. Based on simple interest. There's no prepayment penalties if you refund again or refinance or whatever. There, Robin, there are call provisions on fixed rate bonds, which means that you can't pay them off or prepay them for a period of time. But what you do, if you want to do that, you accumulate dollars in a uh, in an escrow fund that can then be used to prepay debt once you reach the. Uh, call date. Uh, establishing a call date on bonds is a balancing act because obviously your uh, bond holders w would like to never see those bonds called. They'd like to see them non-callable so that they know they've got their bonds out there for 20 years and they know exactly what they're going to be getting paid. So uh, on the other hand, you'd like to have them callable at any time 
Well, it's like most things in life, we come out with sort of a happy medium <coughs> where it keeps the bondholders happy. They know they get to keep their interest payments coming in for a definite period of time, and yet you've got some flexibility to be able to refund or pay off, restructure uh, those bonds at, at the call date. The reason I ask that is because of the point in time in the history of the city of Washington, there was some non callable Oh, I know. Well, you, there's still some utility bonds out there from 1996 that, well, I, I don't even want to say. <laughs> You're exactly right. We, we don't. What is the typical period of Eight to, Six to ten years. Non callable, yeah, uh, that's, that, that's a, not a good situation. You're exactly right. And we'd avoid that. If you're in a high interest situation. True. Yeah, true. So yeah, this is the first year we can do in 2007. Yeah. So. Right. You're at your call today. Yeah. Right. Close to it. Any other questions? Anybody else have any other questions? Well, I want to ask you, uh, you one, Mayor, the, the building that he mentioned, what, what's he referring to? Uh, I don't. I don't specifically recall that, to be honest with you. I thought that uh, it, maybe we mentioned that um, for... Uh, I've been in four different sets of resolutions this week. <laughs> and that may be, that may be Dayton's. Well, we That's probably from the city of Dayton. No, it's, I uh, specifically recall that. Yeah. Sorry. That's all right. Well, we talked about <coughs> the building, but it's not... It's not, it's not connected with okay. this bond. Okay. Okay. That's okay. right. <coughs> what, what day is this, Mayor? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't tell you that unless I look at a piece of paper. It's June 8th. <coughs> so. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank Appreciate you, it. sir. All right. Any, uh, all right, so uh, you've, uh, we sort of stepped out of order there, which is uh, okay. And it's, now we have the resolution before us. Gentlemen, uh, what's your pleasure on the resolution? I've got a motion to approve. Second. And a second. Have any other discussion take place? We'll, we'll, we will uh, entertain these resolutions separately. And so, uh, uh, since there's no discussion on, uh, no further discussion on the first resolution, uh, we'll take a vote. Uh, if you are for this resolution, vote, vote yes. If you're against the resolution, vote no. Uh, Joyce, you call the roll for us, please. Councilman Moore. Uh, Councilman Severe? Yes. Councilman Fox? Yes. Councilman Williams? Yes. Mayor Dillard? Yes. All right, this seems like that's a unanimous vote. We'll move to the second resolution. Yes, sir, Mayor. That's a resolution authorizing the sale and providing the details of not to exceed $6,500,000 general obligation bonds. Series 2017A of the City of Lawrenceburg, Tennessee, and providing for the levy of Avalorum taxes in connection therewith. Uh, that resolution will also need to uh, be on a roll call vote if you choose to pass it. Okay. You need to just go, uh, I'll entertain a motion on this resolution. Motion to approve. We've got a motion to approve. We have a second. Second. All right, we've got a second. Any discussion on this one? You'll seem a little hesitant. Uh, can you explain why there's two resolutions before us? Maybe that's going to be the when, one to help uh, us out. When an entity, a uh, municipality, or a uh, county in the state of Tennessee issue new funding, not necessarily refunding, but new money, it does require two resolutions. The I, I call them the short resolution and the long resolution. The initial resolution, like I mentioned earlier, simply uh, authorizes us to put notice in the paper that the city intends to issue bonds, and that's for the new money. Um, the detailed resolution is just what it says. Uh, if you were doing only a refunding, it would only take that one detailed refunding resolution. You wouldn't have to re-advertise it. But it's it's simply what state law says about new bond issues. So the city's part is three million, and then the AUS is three and a half. Is that correct? No, sir. The 
the LUS is a million and a half for water and sewer. Um, the city is three million, and then the geo refunding makes up the rest of it. It's one point eight five million. That's good discussion, good question. Um, any other discussion on this resolution? Uh, seeing no further discussion, we'll have a roll call vote. If you're in favor of this resolution, uh, vote yes or aye. And uh, if you're not in favor of this resolution, vote no. Joyce, you call the roll for us, please. Council Member Moore? Yes. Council Member Severe? Yes. Council Member Yes. Council Member Yes. Yes. All right, that's a unanimous vote, and that resolution is approved. Mayor, I think that's all the business I have today. Any other councilmen have any business for the... Yes, sir. I'm going to say thank you to everybody that sent flowers, food, whatever, cards. I appreciate it through the loss of my dad. And really, he's not lost. I know where he's at. Mm -hmm. So thank all of you, and we appreciate it from my family to y'all. Y'all are good to us. Thanks. Motion to adjourn. Got a motion to adjourn. Second. Second. This means adjourn.